Yeah, the 2,000 foot view of the acquisition from beginning to end is having the conversation of uh, what would an acquisition look like with uh, Ken Pico, um, giving him your uh, financials to see uh, what state you're in. Uh, if you're in the 20, he can already see what your ticket stream is and what your documentation process is. And then you um, come to an agreement. Uh, it is a model uh, and it is al already a predefined process uh, of what the valuation would be uh, from now and, and what would be reinvested into the 20 LLC for a future return. And then it's uh, shoveling all the paperwork that, you know, pulling reports out from, you know, five years back, 10 years back, you know, what have been your trends, which, you know, your accounting package uh, should be able to give you that. And then getting everything signed off uh, by closing day. So, you know, if you had to go close some, uh, you know, UCC credit uh, filings, you have to get spouse approval on certain uh, documents and uh, just saying, do we have it all done? Do we have it all done? Do we have it all done? And then you go, yep, we have it done and boom, money shows up in the bank and, uh, and you accept the employment offers and uh, it is running away. The acquisition process for me um, was pretty simple. First of all, Tim um, expressed a desire for you know, my company to roll up. Um, after that, the next steps, there were two big things that I had to decide. One, was I interested? You know, I was able to answer that pretty quickly after I found out some details that yes, I was very interested. And the second thing was, could I have a boss? It had been over two decades before having a boss. And so my wife asked me, Kevin, can you work for someone again? And I answered her yes, and she believed me. And so those were the first two things after that, it was just a lot of details. Um, and I knew my company's valuation. Um, and uh, you know, so we were able to come up with a fair um, price for, uh, for sale, a fair purchase price. And then it was just getting the details worked out with people that I trusted. So an aspect of the acquisition process that really stood out for me was you know, just how detailed um, everything was and how um, you know, as questions uh, were presented from both sides that the lines of communication were uh, amazingly open so you know there were lots of 5 a.m. emails that were answered and there were lots of you know 8 p.m. emails answered um, and phone calls and, and zoom calls so it was uh, it was really an open book on both sides on what's going on yeah in a few words um, I would take it from our business coach when we were deciding this and deciding how you make decisions as you move forward through this process think about it what's good for business is good for business so always using that idea on how you're going to make the decisions to roll up, not to roll up, what you do in that, um, that time where you're preparing for it is, is this going to be good for my business? Then it's going to be good for, um, for all parties involved.